Hi there, I'm Scott Newman from Independent VFX, teaming up with AV3 Software to bring you another great video. If you're wondering what I'm doing at the shooting range, it's because in this video we'll be taking a look at creating tracer fire using Adobe After Effects and Red Giant Trap Coat Particular. Right, Trap Coat Particular Tracer Rounds. Let's go full auto. Right, so let's look at how that was done. All of the plugins that we use to create the shot are available through AV3 software. AV3 sell a range of top VFX and motion graphics plugins. You can pick up discounts when buying through them and what's great is you can manage all your plugin purchases, support and downloads in one place. So I was shot against Chroma Blue holding an Airsoft replica. The shot was keyed using Red Giant Primat Kia in Adobe After Effects which has a phenomenal auto key function. The shooting range was built as a combination of Video Copilot Element 3D and After Effects layers and lights. And then for atmosphere, I added lens flares using Video Copilot optical flares. The tracer streaks were created using Red Giant Trap Code Particular. I'll go into some more detail on that in a minute. The muzzle flash and ejecting shells were also added inside After Effects. You can watch a great tutorial on how to do these over at Independent VFX. At Independent VFX, we cover a range of After Effects tutorials for indie filmmakers and VFX enthusiasts. Go and check us out, especially if you're a fan of military and action VFX. As it happens, Red Giant Trap Code Particular is also the perfect plugin to use to create a stream of ejecting bullet shells. So, on to how the tracers were done. To achieve the bullet tracer effect in After Effects, you will need Red Giant Trap Code Particular. You will use it in the default point emitter mode, and by turning the velocity way up and adding gravity, you are causing the particles to behave like bullets, launching them off into the distance at a rate you can control. It's up to you if you want to go full auto or single fire. To see the tracer effect, you need to enable motion blur, and then all the finer subtleties are added using glows and some wiggle expressions for randomness. If you would like to follow a detailed breakdown or learn how to create this effect step by step, then go and check out the full tutorial over at Independent VFX. What's great about this technique is that it can easily be tweaked and adapted to make laser blasts for your sci-fi or Star Wars fan films. So there you have it. If you want to get your hands on a copy of Red Giant Trap Code Particular or any of the other plugins mentioned in this video, then go and check out AV3 software. You can pick up great discounts and support in buying through them, as well as a really simple buying process. I'm Scott Newman from Independent VFX. Thanks for watching. Cheers.